Hey everybody, I'm AC Green. Wanna make sure that if you're behind on your mortgage or struggling with mortgage payments or in foreclosure that you don't lose your home. And I don't wanna see you pay more than you need to on your monthly mortgage payment. Yeah, years ago, this all got started with me. Yeah, I saved $17,000 a year on my mortgage. And I want you to lower your monthly mortgage too. And by the way, if you're living in a home that's in the name of a deceased relative, you can get that home in your name. So look, if you call the number, you'll get what you need to make sure that you are overcoming your challenge when it comes to your mortgage. So whether you need a mortgage modification, a lower monthly mortgage, or you're living in the home of a deceased relative and you need to get that home in your name, just call this number 773-322-1500, 773-322-1500. Or go to my website, get there now, theacgreenshow.com, theacgreenshow.com. Click where it says struggling with mortgage, theacgreenshow.com. Matthew C. Basinger is the attorney responsible for the content of this communication. Travelers, insurance smart takes. A storm puts a hole in my roof. I could stay with my physical trainer buddy, Keith. He calls himself Coach. Luckily, loss of use coverage can help pay for me to stay at a hotel while my home is repaired. No 5 a.m. trampoline kettlebell swings for me, Coach. Travelers, it's better under the umbrella. Policy subject to availability and eligibility. Coverage depends on facts of a loss and policy terms. The Travelers Indemnity Company and its property casualty affiliates. One Tower Square, Hartford, Connecticut, 06183. Well, I'm not getting in the pit and loving someone this week. This is Beer in Front, part of the Odd Pods Media Network. Every week I'll talk about a beer that maybe we've forgotten along the way while we're getting those check-ins and badges. Some weeks I'll have a new beer that has potential to be a classic. Being the Chicago beer guy, I'll also talk about great craft beer and craft beer news in the city of Chicago. Remember, sometimes the beer in front of you is the best one yet. That's beer in front, and it's coming up now. Welcome to the April 12th edition of Beer in Front. I'm your host, Dave Zalatoris, and Beer in Front is a proud member of the Odd Pods Media Network. This is going to be a quick show this week. I've been trying to stay non-political for about a year now, but I'm wound up over this phony outrage over a promotional can of Bud Light that's not available for the public. One chuckle nuts with plastic surgery and another who has excessive use of a hair straightener They're trying to make the news about this, trying to make themselves trend. That's not the way God made you now, is it? In addition to Bud Light, I'm going to have Dreadnought from Three Floyds on the show. In the last month, I've had people that have listened to this show from Iceland and the Maldives. Thank you. Last week, I put out some videos over on YouTube. You could check those out if you have some time. Speaking of YouTube... I post the podcast there because there's a few of you that listen to podcasts on YouTube. Usually, I don't get that many people, but last week, I had more people that listen to the show on YouTube than the usual audio channels like, you know, Apple Podcasts, Good Pods, etc. So, I'm kind of kicking around the idea, should I do a video podcast from time to time. Let me know what you think. You could email me, dave at beerinfront.com, if you'd be interested in that format. I'd like to give a big shout out to those that support the show over on Patreon. You can head over to patreon.com slash beerinfront for more details. In beer news this week, April 22nd is Beer Clean Glass Day. Now, you may think your beer glass is clean, but is it beer clean? A beer that looks good in a beer clean glass will always taste better. Head over to Cicerone.org for more details. Jennifer Lopez is coming out with a ready-to-drink cocktail line later this year called Delola. Prices will be 23 bucks for a 750 milliliter bottle and about $12 for a 375. April 29th is Allagash Saison Day 
And here in Chicago, Off Color will be hosting the best in saisons and farmhouse ales. Hop Culture Magazine had a feature on best breweries near Major League Baseball stadiums, and Dovetail and Mars were chosen as the best near Wrigley and guaranteed rate here in Chicago. I read over at Porch Drinking that Sarah Flora is starting Flora Brewing over at Pilot Project later this month, and I'm really looking forward to trying that. The new issue of Craft Beer and Brewing arrived in my mailbox this week and is always a great read. This month, it's all about IPAs, and it's worth your time if you enjoy IPAs. The beer in front of me today is Bud Light. Let me say this right now. I have never in... 55 years of existence, I've never purchased a Bud Light before today. However, I did have one of the original cans when it came out in 1982. A friend of mine at the time worked for Budweiser as a truck driver, and they were given cans that were completely sealed, but it was from the first day of pressing. And I had, I held on to that can for eight or nine years and somehow during a move, it got punctured. So I don't even know what it would be worth today. I wish I still had it, but I've never purchased a Bud Light before today. Now, last week, a social media influencer, Dylan Mulvaney, she posted on Instagram, Bud Light sent her a commemorative can. This can's not for sale. It's a can that they gave her with her picture on it, celebrating 365 days of her transition. Everyone's in an uproar. Travis Tritt is, this is the best part. Travis Tritt's all upset, and he's saying that he will not allow any Anheuser-Busch products to be in his tour rider. Okay, Travis, so you're saying you're not going to accept free beer. You're an idiot. You dress in Robin's Egg Blue leather jumpsuits with fringe, and you're pissed at Dylan Mulvaney. The other ass clown, Robert Ritchie, he's sitting out there buying. Well, he's not buying. I'm sure one of his lackeys is buying him cases of Bud Light so he could go shoot it. You're asking yourself, who's Robert Ritchie? He's a 52-year-old guy with the hair straightener that wants to be known as Kid Rock. So that's okay. You could be known as something that you weren't born with, but God forbid Dylan Mulvaney is happy. So you're all a bunch of fucking jagoffs, and you've made me purchase something I've never purchased before, and today I'm going to have a Bud Light as the beer in front. Bud Light has a really nice, clear color, very light golden, uh, good foam, good carbonation on here. Just smells like an old school macro. Smells good. Not my thing, but it's it's not horrible. It's not a drain pour. It's just I'm not personally a big fan of light beers. I like something with a little more body to them, a little more oomph. Uh, I would prefer regular Budweiser than this, but it's not horrible. Now, Bud Light uses barley, hops, and rice in here. Try to look at the can to see what the ABV is. It can't be high. It doesn't say on here, but it can't be high. It's Bud Light. Let me have another sip of this. Yeah, definitely not my thing, but... You know, don't let that stop you from buying it. It's one of the top probably five beers sold in the country. So anyone that wants to poo-poo it would love to have the revenue that comes in from Bud Light every year. So go get you a Bud Light. Congratulations to Dylan Mulvaney on one year of transitioning. And go grab you a Bud Light. Fuck you, Kid Rock. This didn't score well on the beer in front judging scale. 
I only gave it a 4.9 on the 1 to 10 scale, but still, I wasn't expecting much out of this, but it's still, it's not horrible. Hey, you there. We've got a question for you. Are you tired of clickbait stories and the loudest voices driving discussions in culture and entertainment? If so, I'm Dylan. I'm Kendall. And I'm Corey. And we host the podcast From the Middle. We're middle class guys living in the middle of America, in the middle chapters of our lives with points of view somewhere in the middle. We take a more reasonable and centrist approach in our discussions covering genres like comedy, culture, entertainment, and interviews with really interesting folks like business owners, comic creators, doctors, news anchors, New York Times best-selling illustrators, professional stand-up comics, and more. We really value a relaxed and conversational podcast, one that we hope is so fun and laid back, you'll forget you're not actually hanging out with us. So search at From the Mid Pod, just like it sounds, or check us out everywhere you can find podcasts. When you're done listening to this show, head over to From the Middle and check them out. Always a great show. Hey, everybody, I'm AC Green. Want to make sure that if you're behind on your mortgage or struggling with mortgage payments or in foreclosure, that you don't lose your home. And I don't want to see you pay more than you need to on your monthly mortgage payment. Yeah, years ago, this all got started with me. Yeah, I saved $17,000 a year on my mortgage. And I want you to lower your monthly mortgage, too. And by the way, if you're living in a home that's in the name of a deceased relative, you can get that home in your name. So look, if you call the number, you'll get what you need to make sure that you are are overcoming your challenge when it comes to your mortgage. So whether you need a mortgage modification, a lower monthly mortgage, or you're living in the home of a deceased relative and you need to get that home in your name, just call this number 773-322-1500, 773-322-1500. Or go to my website, get there now, theacgreenshow.com, theacgreenshow.com. Click where it says struggling with mortgage, theacgreenshow.com. Matthew C. Basinger is the attorney responsible for the content of this communication. The craft beer in front that I'm going to have this week comes from Three Floyds. This is their Dreadnought. This is an Imperial IPA. And actually, I found this at my Costco. They were selling four packs of this there. So this clocks in at 9.4%. According to the can, this is an Imperial India Pale Ale with an intense citrus hop aroma a huge malt body, and a crisp finish. They sold me, so let's crack it open. Dreadnought has a really nice, almost Vienna lager-like color. It's really amber. looks fantastic. I get a lot going on with the aroma here. I get huge pine from the hops i get some malt here in the aroma but the aroma is really solid wow that's really good kind of just like a good old school imperial ipa which three floyds excels at this is really good good foam on this as well it has a nice like creamy finish to it you get some good hop bitterness at the back end of the tongue this is definitely an old school imperial IPA. No, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, if you're around, if you're in the Midwest and you see it at Costco, I would definitely pick it up and put it in the cart along with your toilet paper and everything else you're getting at Costco. But no, Three Floyd's Dreadnought Imperial IPA is a winner. Highly recommend it. I scored this really high on the beer in front scale. On a 1 to 10 scale, this checked in at 9.15. And I've been lax in recording my beers, so I'm trying to do better. But I've been logging every new beer that I have. I have a little Excel sheet at home, and I've been doing it now for a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to be better at recording and scoring beers to talk about on the show. But this was a 9.15. Excellent beer. Once again, if you see Dreadnought, pick it up. (laughs) 
The rabbit hole I went down for the earworm this week was started by the last episode of Ted Lasso. The show closed with a cover of Bob Dylan's Don't Think Twice. That's one of my favorite songs of his. Don't Think Twice was released 61 years ago and was the B-side of Blowing in the Wind. Don't Think Twice has been featured in countless films and TV shows. It's been covered by artists as diverse as Peter, Paul, and Mary, all the way to Kesha, Lana Del Rey, and Post Malone. The version I want to talk about is from Mike Ness's solo record from 1999 called Cheating at Solitaire. Ness is the leader of Social Distortion, and his solo records had more of a gruff, like a country rockabilly, junky guitar player vibe going on that really, in my opinion, brought extra life to old classics and new material as well. Both Cheating at Solitaire and Under the Influences are great records if you like that style. If you're a fan of Social D, put those two records in your queue to play next. He has a great cover of Don't Think Twice. That's on the wonderful record, Cheating at Solitaire. Check that out. It's a great, great cover. That's going to wrap things up for this week's episode of Beer in Front. I thank you very much for listening. If you need to get a hold of me, you can email me, Dave, at beerinfront.com. You can find me on all the social media platforms if you just search for Beer in Front. Have a great week. I'll see you next week on the podcast. And remember, sometimes the beer in front of you is the best one yet. All right, everyone, take care. We will talk to you next week. Hey, everybody, I'm A.C. Green. Want to make sure that if you're behind on your mortgage or struggling with mortgage payments or in foreclosure that you don't lose your home. And I don't want to see you pay more than you need to on your monthly mortgage payment. Yeah, years ago, this all got started with me. Yeah, I saved $17,000 a year on my mortgage. And I want you to lower your monthly mortgage, too. And by the way, if you're living in a home that's in the name of a deceased relative, you can get that home in your name. So look, if you call the number, you'll get what you need to make sure that you are overcoming your challenge when it comes to your mortgage. So whether you need a mortgage modification, a lower monthly mortgage, or you're living in the home of a deceased relative and you need to get that home in your name, just call this number 773-322-1500, 773-322-1500. Or go to my website, get there now, theacgreenshow.com, theacgreenshow.com. Click where it says struggling with mortgage, theacgreenshow.com. Matthew C. Basinger is the attorney responsible for the content of this community.